Let us show the technical details on how we detected and stopped the malware on its track. So in here, we, we the, let's actually look at this uh, offense. And as we've done very many times, let's display the rule that actually cre uh, was created uh, to detect this. And this rule, you see how simple this is, is basically we, if the events are coming from the FAM, and that's the, the you know, the stealth bit, the snare, whatever you have sending file activity monitoring information into QRadar. And the event ID is this one of file update. And when we see f at least 500 events in one minute or less coming from the sensors IP, well, that's malware. What do we do when that happens? Well, what we do is that we launch an event, and here you can actually put the, as we've shown in other videos, we can tell UBA, for example, that, you know, flag this user as a, ri a risky one. But we executed this option, custom action, big fix process termination. Where we define that custom action, well, let's actually go here into the admin tab and uh, show you where we define that. It's actually very simple. We go here into define actions. Right here. And notice that we have the big fix quarantine uh, custom action that I showed in a, in a previous video. And all we did is that we put the Python script, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And, uh, and we pass the parameters. Um, this parameter is a network event property come from the source IP. The other parameters, these are, are hard coded. You can actually encrypt those as you have the option in here, like the token and the, and the password for big fix. But this is a, a demo system in a real environment. You, you definitely want to encrypt that you deploy the changes and you're good. Let me actually show you the Python script. You see how simple, uh, you can, uh, do this in your environment. Uh, this Python script is going to be available on a public link, and I put uh, I will put the link in the uh, description of the video. So we start by importing. Uh, this is the the, the Python script that uh, Mutash wrote. We start by importing a bunch of uh, libraries, and these are the arguments that we are going to be passing. That you show me uh, that, that this corresponds to the one that I showed you on the screen before on define action. We pass the the curator token authentication. We tag we pass the IP of the curator box. And for big fix, we pass the IP uh, of big fix, the user ID, the password. And in here, this uh, process name is the parameter that we're going to be passing uh, dynamically. First thing that we do is that, uh, as you see me doing before, uh, this, uh, this is a request that we do via APIs into Curator to say, hey, hey Curator, since big fix only understand BES ID, give me the BES ID for the source IP that was involved in this action and you get the, the big fix ID. And then all you need to do and, and uh, is actually invoke this, and this is the, the, the way, this is the fixlet, very simple, uh, in, in which we are basically uh, opening a, 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 a command exec and doing a task kill, passing the parameter process name which we got. That's the offending thing that we saw in the log that is doing all these file, massive file open. That's the malware. Go ahead and stop that right away. It is that simple. If you were writing this code, you might want to put some login information, some more stuff, but we wanted to keep it very simple uh, for you to understand how it's done and how you can actually enjoy. And imagine how thankful that user is going to be when the malware gets stopped before it encrypts uh, all these files.